What is happening everybody? My name is Steven or Sagem and today I'm bringing you guys my Nightwing beginner's tutorial. I'm also going to be doing one for Cyborg and if my friend is up to it, I'm going to have him do one for Black Adam since that's the character he plays. And um, Nightwing is a very interesting character, but you have to keep in mind that uh, these tutorials take a while to, you know, film. I'm going to try to do this as fast and as possible while, you know, keeping the detail and take a while to render they take a while to upload so keep in mind that it may be a little while before you see cyborgs it might take another day before it comes out even if i filmed it right now because it just takes hours to do this kind of stuff so i apologize if it takes a little while but uh yeah i'm gonna be doing both of them pretty soon so you guys can look forward to those two but for today we're focusing on nightwing so nightwing is actually a very unique character in the sense that uh he has a very unique trait and his rushdown game is really really good his mix-ups and pressures and um, pressure game is incredibly nice and uh, let me just turn on auto block and give me some meter okay so <clears throat> those two are very nice for nightwing and uh, i'd like to keep you guys keep in mind that if you look at the the um, motions i do have the street fighter motions on so yeah keep that in mind if you look on the right those are what the motions would be in the um, mortal or mortal combat mode which is like you know down forward instead of like a Hadouken and stuff like that. So yeah, these are the motions that are comfortable for me, but if you guys like the MK motions, feel free to use them. So, <clears throat> let's go over some of his chains. I use three chains. Let me push you. Instead of two chains, I only use three, but uh, I use three instead. But he has three primary chains that I like to use, but two of them aren't safe. And I'll explain why that's okay in a minute. But um, his three primary chains that I use, I should probably turn off auto block for this part actually. Since that makes it more complicated. The three chains that I use is forward, two, one, three, which is medium, light, heavy. Right there. If you guys see what it looks like again. That's un that's actually an unsafe chain. And uh, I use back, one, one, two. Except for, you're going to cancel the second hit of it into a special. Uh, instead of doing it like that. It'll look a little like that. And uh, the other chain that I use is 113 which is really fast this chain is for your like incredibly fast punishes like your somebody goes for like you know tries to throw a car at you you dash under and then you can do this chain uh it's his fastest by far and you have to keep in mind that um you have to cancel this early because if you don't cancel the s early you get this funny looking bounce at the end and your combo won't fully go like if you do it like that so keep that in mind that you have to cancel it early when you're doing um, Eskrima Fury. Otherwise, it won't combo work quite right. Um, yeah. So those are his basic chains, the ones that I like the most. Um, and I feel like they're the best ones because they have nice range. This one is actually really nice because it's multi-hitting. Uh, that one has pretty decent range and it's pretty fast. And this one, of course, is just your fastest option. So some of his notable normals. His down medium is actually an anti-air, but it's very slow. Uh, so it's hard to consistently anti-air with this. You're going to probably have trouble doing it. Um, but it is a good normal. His jumping normals, his jumping medium is actually really good. In the sense that it's very hard to tell if it's going to cross up or not sometimes. Like, you, you can never really tell if it's going to end up in front or not. Like, that was a cross up and that was really far. So, it's really good for that. His jump S is his best anti-air, believe it or not. Because going air to air with him is a, probably a better option than trying any of the anti-airs he has. Um, and the nice thing about it is you can also cancel it into his air projectile to get a nice knockdown off it. I'm actually going to take this bike real quick just because I want to get it off the screen. Um, so yeah, and he also has two instant overheads, jump light and uh, jump S. And jump S can be canceled into the kunai for, or for in his batarangs for a knockdown. And then you can get like a mix up after. Whoops. You like a mix up after like dash forward flip kick, which is a cross up right there. So, you know, it's just another option for you guys. Uh, I covered these instant overheads in another video. Um, they do work when the, he's crouching, by the way, so that's what makes him good. Um, yeah, so those are just some of his more notable normals. The best normal he probably has, just single normal, is back medium. As you can see there, it has really good range, and it's an overhead. And it's really fast. It's very good for punishing stuff. You can also get a full combo off of it. And uh, it's really nice. So uh, that wasn't max damage off of it, but it's still it's uh, d you know a decent option. So those are, you know, his primary normals, uh, his probably best normals. One of the things about his normals is they all do have pretty good range, and they're very fast. His normals are really, really fast. Um, so keep that in mind that Nightwing's normals are very fast, and they're really nice because of that. 
Uh, so let's go over his special moves really quick. So let's we'll start with his projectiles. His main projectile is Ground Spark. Uh, Ground Spark's really nice because it hits low. And uh, you can EX it, but, or uh, meter burn it, but it's not really worth it, to be honest, because it just gives you extra damage. Unless you know you're going to chip or something like that, then it's probably not worth it. Uh, but the nice part about this is, as I mentioned, this, his strings are unsafe, but this is one way to make them safe. Uh, as you can see there, it actually combos off of that string. I don't think it combos off of any of his other strings. Yeah, I don't think it combos off that one. Oh, whoops, I did the wrong move there. Yeah, and it does combo off that string. But the reason that it's nice is because you can actually get pressure off of it if it hits. And you can also dash cancel it to make it safe or... It's actually safe on block anyway, but you can make it, you know, you can get out of a situation you're not comfortable with. And uh, that just makes it really nice. So, uh, the reason this is good as well is because in this game, when you're doing your strings and you're near the end, people will oftentimes start to input and sort of mash their own strings out to punish you. But uh, this move hits low. And uh, it'll often catch people mashing. And if you hit somebody with it, you can get pressure after. So if you hit somebody point blank with this, you can actually dash up and get pressure with like a low or something like that. And then into like Eskrim and Fury. And uh, you can also get something like if you do it point blank, you can dash up and throw. Whoops, that wasn't throw. But you can dash up and throw and um, get some extra damage on it. So that's really good as well. It's pretty good for pressure and it'll save you in these unsafe strings. So keep that in mind. It's really nice, and uh, it's awesome. You can, as I mentioned, you can also um, dash cancel it as well. So when you're zoning, like I mentioned, his jump S is his best air to air, or his anti-air. So you can do stuff like you can shoot two of these and then dash forward S to catch people who jump and stuff like that. So it's just a, a good option for, you know, uh, zoning, and it's, it's very tricky. Um, his other projectile in the air is his little batarangs that he throws, his little knives. And these are actually really good. The reason I like this move so much is because, and I even spend meter on it often, is because it knocks down if you spend the meter. And it covers an area that a lot of people have trouble with. A lot of people have forward projectiles that go like right here at jab level. And his ground spark will duck those projectiles. But this move is completely out of the way of most of them. And uh, if you spend the meter, then you get that knockdown, and then you can get pressure after. So that's really good. It's a lot of times when you're full screen and you do that, you get free pressure. And it's nice because when he gets in, He's in there, and he does really, really well. So that's one of Nightwing's biggest strengths is that he has a way to get in off of an air projectile, and it's really nice for him because not a lot of characters have options to deal with that. A lot of characters will just struggle to deal with kunai or the um, shurikens in the air in general. So that's a really good move, and it's one of the moves that I spend meter on. The other move that I spend meter on in this mode is, uh, well, there's actually two, but his Eskrim of Fury because you get this nice little combo after uh, unless you drop it, but um, it, it's his main way to get extra damage because off of this you don't get as much damage if you don't spend the meter, but if you do spend the meter You get um, Extra damage off of your things you can you can easily get over 40% off of a basic combo with that So it's really good for him and you get the nice pressure after so that's really nice as well You know you can abuse your back too and your flip kick as well flip kick is another move that you might want to meter burn Something for the fact that if you do you can get a combo after it um, and it's also a cross-up a lot of times. It's a cross-up overhand. So it's just a really good move. It's really, really good. So keep that in mind. You can do that at the end of strings as well. Uh, so that's really good. So those are his main special moves. Um, I guess because I did talk about flip cake in this mode. Actually, he has one more. This. But it's, it's sort of booty. Like, it's an anti-air, but it's so slow. So it's not really something you're going to do consistently. It's more of something that if you know a big character is jumping in at you, then you're sort of in, in trouble. You can do it. But uh, I guess it's, it's better to talk about staff mode now and some of the uh, options you have in there. So let's go over some of the you know special moves in staff mode really quick. Staff mode is actually really good because the projectile is very fast. Uh, and it sort of it doesn't have to travel like his ground spark. And uh, when you spend meter on it, it's actually really good because you can, you know, like combo off of it and you can get a nice confirm. And uh, it just does really good damage. Even if you're very far away, like even if you're like full screen, you can get something off of it. You can see his back dash is really slow, but you can do Flying Grayson. And uh, that's another one of his special moves, so that's really nice for him. Uh, as you saw there, Flying Grayson is this move right here. It's really good against big characters and anybody who has a floaty jump because it bodies them free. Like the, the hitbox on it is really nice. It's very fast and it blows up jumps and it's a high. So keep that in mind. It's a really, really good move. Um, so abuse it. And when you do a staff switch with Nightwing, you can cancel into a special move, as you saw there. 
So you want to cancel on the flip kick and go back or flying Grayson. Whoops, I didn't get it there, but flying Grayson or something like that. It's a really good option. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, stance canceling and then into a normal is really smart. You can actually combo into it as well. So, But that's something a little bit more advanced. And uh, you guys might not know how to use the staff that well yet. So we don't want to cover that too fast. Another move he has is his staff spin, which looks like that. Uh, the staff spin is really nice because it's sort of a reversal as well, just like the flip kick. The flip kick is his other reversal in this mode. It's probably the only thing he has to reversal with. When he, people get on you, a lot of times you're going to be spinning bar to get them off you. Because if you guys didn't know, when you're blocking and you hit the meter burn button, it'll push block them away from you, sort of like Marvel. But you do have to spin a bar, uh, which is good on Nightwing since he does have a little bit of trouble when people rush him down. Uh, he has trouble keeping people off of him. It's better when he's rushing them down than when them are rushing him down. He like sort of struggles with that. But, um, yeah, his staff spin move is actually very good. You can meter burn it for extra damage, although it's probably not worth it most of the time unless you're going to kill. And I think that's about it for staff mode, right? Yeah, I think I pretty much covered his, his specials in staff mode. His normals in staff mode are incredibly good. They have really good range. His jump, as you see here, is a nice little hop now instead of that floaty jump he had before that looks like that. That's really good. And um, he has this now. He has this nice little floaty KOF style hop, and uh, it's pretty good. And it's really good because people have trouble anti-airing this low. In this game, their anti-airs are often sort of higher and used for floatier jumps like Sinestro's and um, Aquaman's. But, you know, this, this little hop is very hard to react to an anti-air. You're going to have trouble you're going to have trouble finding someone who can anti-air consistently uh, unless they get like a lucky guess or something like that. And also the normals have very far range. Uh, right right there that mid to high string. It only works on standing opponents actually, so it's not that useful. Um, but you can use the high like this to anti-air as well up like sort of up close to this distance if they jump and you don't want to fly in Grayson, you can do that. Um, he also has his his high to low or mid to low, I mean which is good for combos and you can cancel it into ground spark and you know get a nicer combo off of it. Um, you can actually get a much nicer combo than that but we don't need to do that. And um, <clears throat> it's just a nice string. You can actually end combos with it like that too. So he also has a very good S or uh, medium I mean. His medium is very nice in the sense that it's an overhead you can combo off of it and um, it's just really good. You can get pretty nice damage off of it, and it's it's got this nice range on it, and he moves forward when he does it, so it's really good. He also has S, which uh, and back S, which I don't want to hit him because it'll knock him out. But as you can see there, it actually has pretty good range, and uh, it's not a bad move. You can meter burn it as well, so it's a pretty good move. And his staff mode has quite the range on its normals, quite the range indeed. So if you guys are fighting a bigger character, keep that in mind. Flying Grayson will own them for free in staff mode. And a lot of staff modes options are very good. So uh, it's a good mode. You just do have to experiment with it up close. You can feel a little weak, but he's got a very fast um, light. And his S is actually pretty nice as well. It's got good range if you see right there. Um, and this actually can anti-air, which is very weird. But it can anti-air pretty well. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, so staff mode is really good as you saw the normals have long range and you can do pretty good damage in it And it's very good against big characters if you ever fight Solomon Grundy Flying Grayson that boy back to the grave because it's really really good on him um, And I think that's about it for staff mode I don't think there's anything else major that we need to cover Besides the fact that staff spin is a, is a reversal like I mentioned and so is flip kick but, um, yeah, those, those are the main ways of playing Nightwing. Oh, actually, I should mention his super. His super is very easy to combo into, but the problem with Nightwing is that spending bar on him is significantly better than his super. You can anti-air with his super, which, you know, that's one of his anti-airs, but spending bar on Nightwing is, like, almost significantly better all the time because you need bar to push people off of you when they get too aggressive. You're going to need bar for his kunai. You're going to need bar for uh, ground s spark in staff mode and stuff like that. So spending bar... On his super is usually not worth it unless you know you need it to anti-air or something like that or in certain matchups so uh, besides that this is a basic beginner tutorial tutorial for Nightwing and I really don't want to make this too long even though we're already at like almost a 15 minute mark so yeah I hope you guys haven't learned a little bit about this and uh, if you guys want to see some of my Nightwing gameplay look forward to some stuff on this channel and uh, I'm gonna be posting some Nightwing stuff I have some Nightwing matches against um, some really good players that I'm going to be posting soon and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy that I hope you guys enjoy the cyborg tutorial that's coming out soon 
and uh, the Black Adam one as well. And other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.